Hi everyone. Uh, this is a week uh, guide on how to install WinGet package manager for Windows. Currently, it's a command line based interface uh, called CLI. And I'll be using the stable version 1.3 on Windows 10 22H2, which is the current version of Windows. And you can use PowerShell command prompt or Windows terminal to run WinGet commands. I'll add the links in the description for reference. We'll also check with chat GPT if it has a better option to guide us on installing Windows. WinGet on Windows and see the basic differences in syntax while comparing with apt APT. Is call, also called advanced packaging tool, which is used on Debian based distros. I'll, I will not be covering uh, apt yum or dnf, snap, uh, flatpak, etc. in detail because it will be in, it will be out of the scope for a uh, WinGet tutorial. This is how you install uh, Win uh, WinGet. So this is the repo. Uh, I'll stick with uh, the package version 1.3. You simply download the MSIX bundle and WinGet is supported from Windows 10 18.09 to the current version, which is 22H2. So this is the basic, uh, the minimum requirement for installing Winget. I am not sure about the LTSC version, which is the long-term servicing branch or the Windows Server options. Uh, but I can give you a link to install Windows Store and other dependencies on an uh, LTSC branch of Windows 10. So I'm not sure uh, if it will work for you when whoever is using the enterprise LTSC versions. Um, because there are a lot of new dependencies added aside from these uh, packages so you may have to uh, check um, and windows update needs to be enabled if it's uh, blocked i mean to blocked or disabled for some reason to avoid auto upgrades so i'll just start with it so once uh, the packages are downloaded. I'll just uh, download one. Anyway, since I've installed it, it's a small package. So if Windows, uh, if uh, the UW, uh, UWP apps are already installed, I mean, uh, the dependencies are Resolved, you'll see an icon, something similar to this, so that you can directly open it. I'll just click on reinstall so that it will install everything. So, the current version I'm using is 22H2 with the December patch released on 14th December. Uh, 13th December, 13th or 14th, I am not sure on the dates. Anyway. In case you are finding it difficult to In case you are finding it difficult to remember the command 
line arguments and uh, yeah how to install things uh, this is a this simplifies things so we can get dot run website you just have to search for the packages and it will have all those uh, command line based arguments and everything so you don't have to remember most of the things so in case you are forgetful so i'll run the basic thing in case we will ask uh, chat gpt on what is we get As I said, um, as I said earlier, um, Winget is a package manager of Windows that enables user to uh, discover, install, upgrade, and remove the packages from a central repository, just like what we, uh, if you have used apt uh, on Debian-based distros. Uh, it is uh, similar to that. Winget is also an uh, the open source package manager, and uh, you can create a package and also deploy it. The minimum version, uh, like I said earlier, uh, it is uh, Windows 10 1809 to the current version uh, and uh, the enterprises or the LTSC or B versions are excluded uh, since the Windows Store dependencies and other apps are not installed by default and they don't ship with them. Uh, yeah. So I'll just ask what are the differences? As you can see, uh, both are based on a central repository and uh, on where apt, you can use apt install, whereas on winget it is almost similar and um, it is apt is replaced with winget. So I'll list some of the commands you can uh, you can type in uh, winget on the command prompt and on the terminal, which is Windows terminal winget. Or even you can use PowerShell to run them. So these are the basic commands you get. I'll install a, a random package.
if you want, you can search for the packages. Uh, for example, you can search for Zoom. One thing to note is you have to be careful with the publisher who is publishing it and not run into uh, unofficial images or softwares. So just like apt, it has to update the sources uh, which keeps and uh, fetch the latest package update list and things like that. So this is the official version. So we have two of them. So I'll install this. Uh, tag has been get install your ID. So this is the thing you can try it out. Zoom. So you can skip this if you are using the uh, the, uh, the ID. Install or you can just copy and paste it from here. If you can see the, the list, the version, and also the source, you have two sources here from one is from Winget, one is from uh, Microsoft Store. Also, I'll open a new one, new terminal, and this is similar to a uh, sudo apt update. So we're in uh, the repository will be new repository uh, information will be fetched and updated. Uh, the current sources uh, are Winget repos repository and also the Windows, I mean the Microsoft Store. So you can get apps from both uh, Windows, uh, I mean Microsoft Store as well as Winget. In case uh, you want to come out of it or forcibly, forcibly close the process, you can uh, click on, I mean, you can hit Control C to come out of it. Currently, it is uh, being installed, so I will not uh, interrupt it. Also, you can, uh, in case if any packages, I'll close this. In case you want to upgrade any packages, you can just write, you can automatically upgrade all of them, or if you can just specify uh, the ID to update specific packages so the command will be something like this so in case if the package uh, needs administrator uh, consent uh, it will ask for that and you can just uh, click uh, yes on the prompt and then start installing it so if you are seeing it you just click on yes and to install also you can specify um, a switchless type of an installer so 
using accept package agreements, accept source agreement, and even passing minus. Get pass a uh, minus h for silent installation. Try for a random package. Let's see. Names. This is the correct one. So just make sure you just check the name, ID, and the source. So I'll be installing this. I'll copy and paste them. Source agreement. It might take some time, uh, depending on your internet connection or the download speeds. So, but in patients are uh, must be patient. When you get you can install or update anything. Oh, uh, there is uh you can even update uh MS store, uh, the Microsoft store apps as well from the command line. The download is almost done. Another good thing with Winget is it will automatically verify the hash and only then it will proceed to install. Otherwise, you'll get a failed. In case you have five walls open, be sure to add them. So Teams is now installed. Zoom is also installed. Now, in case you have installed everything, now, in case you want to remove them, you can use 
install command in get install We'll do all those uh, basic car things and force rules in open apps and then uninstall it fully. Also, we can try with Teams. In case you have multiple. Uh, Search results being returned. You can just use the ID to completely uninstall it. I think uh, that will be a basic. That will be a basic video or a guide on how to install Binget and install your favorite apps. Also, I'll uh, link this um, wonderful GUI in case uh, you are not comfortable with the command line based things and want to get started right away. So, thanks for watching.